Hey, today I'm going to be making these three hooks here, and the camera cuts out a little bit, so I'm sorry about that, but they're super simple to work on your technique for just flattening out the heads and doing some little, just uh, real precise hammering. All you're going to really be needing is a propane canister here, uh, some needle nose pliers, or just some any pliers, the sledgehammer, these propane canisters here are only like three bucks at Lowe's so you can get those for super cheap and I've made like 15 hooks off of this one canister here and it hasn't run out on me yet so it's like 30 cents a hook or something around that and this little propane torch on the end here was like 23 bucks so that was really nice uh, you can get one that you light with a lighter for even cheaper than that so I just hope you enjoy the video and learn a little something from it and be sure to go try this yourself uh, as soon as the video is over I have some uh, size 5 horseshoe nails, they just look like this. And they're just kind of small. You can get bigger sizes too, just whatever you prefer. Um, this can be making kind of small nails. Uh, I'll probably get some bigger ones in the future. Okay, so now I just get to start, just to get started. I'm going to have this nail here. And I'm going to uh, hold it with some pliers and then get this head heated up with the torch. Lay this head on the anvil and start just kind of tapping that head with the hammer, trying to draw it out. And it heats up really fast, but it also cools down really fast because it's a really thin piece of metal. So just you're gonna have to probably do a couple different heats with this. Okay, that looks good. So I'm gonna get my other pair of needle nose pliers. And so now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna lay this down here. And what I'm gonna try to do is grab the head here. And now I'm gonna heat up this section here. And then I'm going to bend it around for a hook, just like so, and just bend it up so that we can then get our hook on. And then I'll bend the tip over a little bit to give a little curl on the end and maybe even try to put a twist in the back here. take this when it's hot I'm gonna take it right here and just kind of pinch it since I've ground off the teeth on this and that's gonna take it down to where you won't get anything hung on it if you're trying to hang something on it okay so there's that and I'm gonna try to put a twist in the back okay so uh, the twist always wants to run down to this bottom because it heats up so fast so that's the reason that's the problem with the twist is because once you hook it so what I'm gonna try to do on this next one is I'm going to flatten out this head first and then I'm going to put the twist in it and then pull up the hook so that it can't run down and then I know where I have to pull pull up the hook from and that so that it's not in the bottom like this other hook so take this head and begin to work it up again
Okay, so that's all I'm going to do right now. Let's flatten that head out because uh, I have some other things to do. But for right now, this is the one we have. And the hook and everything turned out well. But the twist right here started to run to the bottom. As you can see right there, the twist. It's trying to run to the bottom and we want it more up like right there towards the top. So I'm going to try to, on this other one that I have here on the anvil, I'm going to try to put the twist right here before I pull up this hook. And then I'll know exactly where I need to pull up the hook so that the twist isn't in the bottom like this one right here. For right now, i got to finish up uh, flattening out this head. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I've already kind of got a half twist on this hook here that I got off camera uh, accidentally because my cameras are having some issues. So now what I'm going to do is just heat this back up and get it even and then we'll go from there uh, for getting the hook up. And doing the twist, uh, doing the twist before I put the hook up worked way better than it did last time on this other hook. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and kind of try to even it out and then get some of the scale off with this uh, little bitty wire brush. Okay, I'm just going to take this wire brush and clean that up, make it look prettier. Okay, now I'm going to kind of even this out and then uh, pull up the hook. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to take my wire brush. Let me get this heated up real good. And just kind of scrape that. Make sure everything's even. Looks like it needs to come over a little bit. Try to cock that over a bit. There we go. Okay, it looks like this curl needs to come over a bit too. It's very tedious and it's going to take some propane, but I've made probably 12 of these things and haven't had to change propane canisters yet, so. Okay, that all looks even. Now I'm just gonna set that there and let it cool. So what we have now is this hook and it looks really nice compared to this other one that I didn't do, that I did the twist on after I curled it up. Um, so, and I only did a half twist on this one. I might try to do a whole twist on the next one. But it isn't, it hasn't ran to the bottom. It's only about a little bit down and we have this flat side here. It sits perfectly flat on the anvil, which uh, lets me know that it'll sit nice on a piece of wood when I mount it. And this cur this hook is out enough to where that it won't hang anything or that you can, and so you can actually get something on it. So that'll, this is pretty much how I want to make every single one I make from now on. Okay, I have this hot now. I'm just going to start drawing it out like the rest of them. Uh, getting that nice and drawn out so that I can uh, put a nail or screw through it later. And if you can tap fast enough, you can keep some friction on there. It'll keep it hot. But you don't want to get it all done super fast because you, since you're going to have some pretty uh, bad hammer marks on there, you're going to want to take a, another heat or two just to try to get those, get those all smoothed out so it'll look nicer. So what you're going to do is you just want to heat up exactly where you want the twist and the place where you want the twist you want to get the very hottest because where it's hottest the material is going to want, is going to be movable the most which means that's where it's going to twist. And with these horseshoe nails the material gets thicker as it goes up so you're going to want to uh, try to heat up a little bit above where you're actually wanting to get so that it'll heat up evenly 
and you can get an even twist and not have it all kinked up like that first one where I had it all in the bottom and all and that was real messed up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to heat up this one area where I want this twist real nice and hot pretty, a lot towards the top and uh, we'll just twist it from there. So I have this kind of hot now I'm just going to twist this around. I want to try to make it fast. And that's cold now, so I gotta take another heat. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing me make these three little hooks here. Sorry the camera cut out some, but it's just a little simple video. The next video, I might be pairing up with the guy to make something, so that'll be pretty fun to do. We might be doing some foraging and some welding and some different things like that.